I fixed the problem with the overhang on the eave, today, at the House Edition. Welcome back to the House Edition. So this morning, we're going to start by doing the needed demolition back here on the eave. I need to make that eave 12 inch so it matches the existing house. So I'm going to start by pulling the roof paper back, cutting the sheeting as I need, because I want to weave the sheathing in. That way, the eave won't droop over time. So let's go ahead and get started. So now that I've got this open, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set all the nails in this first piece and this third piece. So I'm just going to set these last nails that go into this rake piece of 2x6 that are in this middle piece of plywood. And once I do that, I'm going to take this rake off. Minor casualty. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut back the subfascia, probably just one bay, and then I'll tack in a piece of 2x4 that extends out that 12 inches. I'll do that on both sides. So easy. So now that I got it all cut and cleaned up, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this one so it goes all the way. And then I'll just cut a small one to fill that and then a long one there. And then I'll repeat the process on the other side. So I have a problem here. I made this subfascia way too low. It needs to line up like this. It needs to be considerably higher. So I've gotta cut this piece loose and lift it up. Now I'm going to go ahead and pull these pieces back, tack them down, and then I'll put a little extension piece on there just to cover it up.
So I'm going to go ahead and sign off for tonight. All I need to do is get this paper down and clean up the job site. But tomorrow, hopefully, we should be able to get all this shingled in. And Friday, it's going to rain. So we're really going to be pressed to get it all shingled. And I think we can get it done. So I hope to see you in the next clip where we'll be doing the roofing. I'll see you then.